The balloon sinus lift or subantral membrane elevator lift is presented by Blue Sky Bio. Instead of using all of these instruments with sharp edges and with a lot of instrument manipulation, instead, the, blue, the balloon sinus lift utilizes just a few instruments. Instead, it uses just a balloon, which is filled with fluid, and a few instruments to begin the membrane lift. The reason to use a balloon is because when you make the window, you're not completely sure 100% because of parallax where the window is made versus the anterior and distal walls. Sometimes it's more mesial, sometimes more distal. The distance is determined based on the need for uh, access as well as packing of the bone. Increasing the size can lead to problems such as artery perforation. It's also difficult to pack the bone then. When you're manipulating with an instrument, there's a possibility of moving off of a ledge, since you're working blind, and then perforating the membrane. This is a common cause of perforation. As the instrument moves, it follows the bone, but if the bone suddenly takes a sharp turn, which it often does, the instrument will continue in a straight line, jumping off the ski scope and perforating. This is the pre-op x-ray, showing the area that we're going to be lifting. A regular full thickness flap is elevated in the area using a two millimeter high speed diamond drill a window is made exposing the surface of the antral membrane and the antral lining then a simple Columbia 1314 perinol curette is used to begin elevation of the sinus by teasing it away from the bony walls on the mesial and on the occlusal, creating enough room for a three millimeter balloon to slide inside. You just, again, very important to get the uh, membrane elevated towards the medial wall of the sinus. You don't have to lift it completely, just enough to get the balloon inside. Okay, we're going to insert the balloon into the area. Now we're going to inflate the balloon approximately a cc and a half. Uh, I know that the sinus holds about 5 cc's, but if you try to inflate too much, you can perforate the sinus by turning it around the corner on a sharp edge of bone. A cc and a half is plenty of elevation, as you can see soon. Uh, you just inflate cc and a half of fluid, usually saline or injectable um, flagell. You can see the membrane's intact as the patient breathes in and out. Again, a 5 millimeter osteotomy there. We're going to u insert bone using a 5 millimeter diameter bone injector and we're going to compress against the medial wall and the anterior wall. Again, it's important to compress against the medial wall of the sinus and the anterior wall because those are the areas that people tend not to get bone against. Once it's, again, it uh, doesn't matter what kind of bone you use, you can use bottled bone, you can use um, natural bone, whatever your preference is. Once you've compressed it, you can then place a membrane against the opening. Here's the pre-op x-ray before we place the graft. And now here is the post-op x-ray showing the graft in place and well-contained and compressed.